Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'll show you a really simple way how we can integrate Outlook with Monday.com. So there are actually two ways how we can do it. The first way is if you would go to Monday.com and you would go to the bottom left or just be in whatever you're going to be, like let's say you have a uh, right here, you would go to the top right and workflows. So you're going to be in your workspace, top right workflows, and then you can have apps and integrations and you're going to search for Outlook. Now you see right here that you're going to have plenty of options that you can use it for. You can log in with Outlook here. I can easily connect here. And this is the first way how we can do it. So you would send it right here. And then when you're going to sign in here, you can easily use it. Or the second way how we can do it and how we can connect is not with uh, the Outlook here on monday.com, but you want to scroll down below to the description and click on a link. When you're going to do it, you will get right here to make.com and make.com is an amazing company that is going to help us integrate various applications that are much more like that uh, monday.com. And then you're going to be here and you want to click on scenarios. Then you would go to the right, create new scenario, click plus here and add monday.com. And then let's say when I'm going to create a board, get an items column, get a team, get a user, create an item. So let's say I'm going to create an item and then you're going to connect it and you have to add an epic key here. So I would go to monday.com You go to admin and you're going to have epic key here and you're going to copy it. Then you're going to paste it and save. And then you're going to have your connection here, item name and board ID. So when, what kind of item name you're going to have it right here. And board, let's say it's going to be like this one, the board. And let's say group is CRM. So, and when it's going to be the person status, column ID, uh, RI of column values to change, and you can add an item name. And when you're going to have it, you just press OK, right? Let's say item name is going to be like this. And then you're going to add another module, which is going to be Outlook. Okay. And then you get an option to have a create, get a message or let's say create and send a message. So when I'm going to create an item, I'm going to have a subject ID and body content, new task, and I can add recipient, my boss or someone, whatever. But if you're going to have in your C in your uh, the option to add an email in monday.com, you should be able to see also it right here. So here you would add it. And then press OK. And on the bottom, you can easily save it and run it once. So we see that there was something mistake here. So we need to edit it again. But that's pretty much it, how we're going to figure it out. My recommendation is definitely share to make.com. If you can have any questions with their support, you can paste them this a scenario and they're going to help you. What did you do wrong? If you can have some error there. So that's pretty much it. Thank you very much, guys, for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.